Hey guys, it's Joe Walker here. What the flipping hell is going on? So the other day I put out a poll asking you guys which flip trick I should try next. So we had half cab flip, double heel and laser flip. And the majority of you actually went for the laser flip. So that's what we're trying today. I'm gonna do a warm up, then I'm gonna do some juicy front side shoves, some tasty heel flips, and then some spicy varial heels, because I think that those three tricks are like the prerequisite tricks for the laser flip. I have zero expectations today. The laser flip is an advanced trick. I've watched a ton of tutorial videos, so I'm just gonna give it my best shot. But before we get into that, before we discuss foot positioning and things like that, I'm gonna do a warm up. Let's get into it. guys there we go all warmed up pretty sketchy got the front shove got the heel flip got the varial heel flip pretty sketchy but that's literally my warm-up that's literally me starting skating today so I'm happy to be able to throw all three of those down within 15 minutes and I feel like now I'm in the right zone for the laser flip now I just want to briefly discuss foot positioning so the consensus among the tutorial videos that I watched is that the back foot should go somewhere sort of there in that bottom pocket kind of pointing off the board and this is to give you the maximum momentum to push the board front side 360 just like the tray flip this trick is pretty much all in the back foot or at least 90 percent in the back foot for the front foot the general agreement is that it should be sort of there in the middle of the board leaving a slight gap behind the heel and it's obviously very similar to a heel flip it's going to kick off in that direction slightly more downward than a heel flip which is more outward the laser flip is going to be a kick more down towards the ground because it's going to happen very close to the ground so general consensus was that the front foot is there in the middle of the board however then i watched one guy and his laser flip seemed to be the most consistent out of all the tutorial videos that i watched and he actually had his foot there just below those front bolts still had the gap behind the heel but he had his foot there so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to try five full send attempts with the first foot positioning that i showed you and then five full send attempts with the second foot positioning that i showed you see how the two feel see how they differ see what results i get from both and then we're going to have a chat let's get into it actually managed to land a laser flip with one foot so great demonstration there just need to jump up and back onto the board I think which is similar to the varial heel you have to sort of like jump right up into like a chair sitting down posture and then jump sort of back onto the board so I'm gonna full send it try and do that I really really want to land one today but foot positioning one makes much more sense which if you think about it it really does because my heel flip foot is just below the bolts and my varial heel is a little bit lower so it makes sense if I'm wanting this to flip faster that my laser flip would be even lower down the board. So let's go with foot positioning one and try and land a laser flip.
the first 15 minutes of attempts came close with the front foot on a couple of times landing towards the nose and spinning 270 there's so many elements to this trick that i'm struggling to piece them all together it's a you know like a pop and scoop for the 360 there's a little flick with the front foot you've got to jump up into the air you've got to move back there's a lot going on you've got to keep those shoulders square so there's like five things to think about and what you've got to do is just let your brain go and just accept them i'm going to take a short two to five minute break and then get back into it i'm going to try and play around a little bit with the back foot as well as the front foot just to see if i can get a bit more purchase on the tail to give it that bang that huge scoop and then hopefully start like landing on it with two feet even if the board's face down i'll take that as a success take that as some good progress Whew, these tricks laser flip it really takes out of you so i have two minutes have a little bit of water and then get back into it let's go Still no luck, been out here for like an hour, trying it. Whew. I'm gonna give it 10 more tries, 10 more tries. And if there's no luck, I'm just gonna cool down with all the basics, and then we'll have a chat about either my success or failure today. 10 more tries at the laser flip. Whew. Wish me luck. That is disappointing. Whew. Genuinely thought I could like stick at least one laser flip simply because I feel a lot more comfortable with the board rotating front side than I do back side, but didn't manage to stick one today, but did manage to get a few with just one foot on. You can't win every session. And that's one of the biggest takeaways, at least for me, with skateboarding. Every session, you're not gonna land the trick that you maybe want. Happens to me all the time. You know, I'm out skating quite a lot, as much as I can. And it's not a success every time, it's really not. And that's a big part of the journey. But what I like about a session where you're trying a trick that is perhaps too advanced for you is it really shows you what level you're at. So in the previous video, I managed to land a double flip Today's video, laser flip, is just out of my reach. I'm just not there yet. So it's a good sort of humbling moment when you have a session where you don't quite get or achieve what you wanted, um, but you can really take away from it, learn from it, adapt and advance. Like six months ago, I was trying double flips and I was just like, no, no way. What am I doing? This is insane. And then last week tried one and got it within 10 minutes and found it relatively easy. And you're progressing almost all the time without even knowing it with your skateboarding. So for me at the moment, laser flips are just out of reach, just out of reach. But one day 
I will land one. Whew. I must say that it is an extremely difficult trick. It really does take it out of you and you really have to put a lot of emphasis into that back foot, that back foot bang on the ground for the 360 scoop. You really, really have to go for it. I'm, I am absolutely exhausted. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep trying laser flips over the course of my skateboarding and eventually I will land one, but I wanna focus on perfecting the tricks that I have got down recently, make sure that they're locked down tight, make sure that the basics are locked down tight and really just persevere with those. And then in the new year, throw myself wholeheartedly into my challenge. I set myself four challenges. One I've done, that was kickflip a three stair. The other three are ollie a five, drop in something bigger than a six foot ramp and tray flip, or at least get tray flips more persistent. So that's what I'm gonna do in the new year. We'll probably have a new setup excited which tricks are you trying guys have any of you ever landed a laser flip before you guys will know how difficult that trick is if you have any tips any hints please do leave it down in the comments below i am eager and keen to land this trick it is such a cool trick and i really really feel like i'm close to it but there's just a few adjustments that i need to make so any hints and tips would be greatly appreciated down in the comments below i want to say a huge thank you for watching this video guys i really do appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one bye bye